two drivers have already been eliminated with six drivers remaining. Who will make it into the final four in event two of the DRC? Welcome back to the 3D Botmaker Diecast Rally Championship. It's time for round three of event two in the DRC. Joining me once again in the booth is none other than 2D. Hey, hey, it's a great day for rally racing. I really want to see these guys put it all on the track today. No holding back, go big or go home. There's only four spots in the final round, so this is not the day to play it safe. Here's the current standing. Stephen King on top with 17 points. Kid Do Not in second place with 13. Paul R. has 12, has Minor and Justin Rules tie with 11 points, and on the bottom is Alan Willoughby. There's only three points separating last place from second, so I think the only one who might be safe here today is Stephen King. Up first we have Paul R. in the Toyota Supra going up against Hasman Noor in the Subaru WRX. You know Hasman Noor has been having a lot of trouble navigating around that last corner. I hope he's been practicing during the week, otherwise he may be at risk of going home today. Only a one point gap between Paul R. and Hasman Noor. Paul R. has 12, Hasman with 11. On a day like today, every point counts. One point could be the difference between the finals and going home. Paul R. in the lead as he approaches the finish line, and Paul R. will take the first win as Hasman Noor gets left behind. That reminds me of the last race between Hasman Noor and Alan Willoughby. It looks like number 99 is getting a little taste of his own medicine. Yeah, losing that one point by not passing the finish line might really come back to bite him when we get to the end of this round. Paul R. putting the block on him around that corner. That's going to bring Paul's score up to 17, Hasman Noor with 14. I think Hasman's going to need to win this next one if he wants any chance of making it into the finals. Let's see if he can make it clean around that last corner. That's really been his Achilles heel in this race. He's got the lead right now. Hasman Noor over the first jump. Here he goes. Nope. <laughs> can Paul R. make it around him? No. Wow. I told you. Hasman Noor once again ruining the race for everyone. You know, I'm starting to agree with you. Somebody get him off the track. Well, you know, he might end up getting himself off the track. He ends this round with 17 points. I don't know if that's going to be enough to carry him through to the finals. Well, we still have four drivers to go. We'll have to wait and see. A six-point round isn't the worst. That's true. He could have did a Hungarian polar bear and rolled over. Yeah, that was a sad day for the Hungarians. I think you mean a sad day for polar bears. Um, no, that's not what I meant. Well, it was. Up next, we have Kid Do Not in the number five Ford Escort Rally going up against Justin Rules 04 in the number 20 Audi Quattro. Kid Do Not's lack of experience was really on display in round two as he wrecked his car but he still managed to end the round in second place. We'll see today if he's learned from his mistakes. It's one thing to have speed, and it's another thing to have that speed under control. Kid Do Not pulls ahead going into the first quarter. He's got a big lead going over the bridge. Gets a little sloppy on that jump. He's going for the big air. Nice. Oh, yeah, that was a good jump right there. Kid Do Not with a great first race performance. Oh, no. The same cannot be said for Justin Rules 04. Somehow he flipped. Oh, wait a oh, minute. that's not right. Another broken sign. Seriously, guys? I didn't even see how that happened. Hey, somebody get the track crew out there. You just hate to see no, that. No, forget the car. Get the sign. Let's see if it was Kid Do Not or Justin Rules. Nope, it was not the kid. We may not have video evidence, but we all know it was Justin Rules. Let's take another look at that big air. You know, we had a couple people not understand the rules of the big air or the max air bonus. Really? I thought it was pretty simple. It is. But just to be clear, what the judges are looking for is where your car is in relationship to the line when it touches the ground. Ah, uh, okay. So the question they'll be asking, is any part of the car past the line when the car first touches the ground? Makes sense to me. And at the end of the day, it's really up to the judge's discretion. Kid Do Not looks really good right here. He's going for it. Whoa! Oh, yeah! That right there looked uh -huh. like he got the max air bonus. The kid! We're gonna have to go with the replay. That was really close. <laughs> Oh man, that is what I live for. High flying, big air action. When the world's problems get you down, kid do not picks you up. Here's another look in slow-mo. Oh, oh man. So close. I don't know if that was it or not. That was super close. Let's go to the finish cam. I really hope he got it. Here he goes. Oh I man. I still can't tell. I don't know. Give it to him, judges. They're reviewing it one more time here. He gets amazing air. Look at that. 
and the judges are ruling it a big air bonus oh, only. Oh, come on. It was a split decision, but if you look at his shadow, when he made contact with the ground, he did not appear to be past the line. Oh man, a great effort by Kid Do Not. And he gets a big point boost right there, 12 points in that round. Up next, the only driver to officially get the max air bonus so far in the DRC, Superman, Superman Stephen, Stephen King. King. Here's a look at what the max air bonus really looks like. Yeah, he clearly got past the line on that jump. He'll be going up against Alan Willoughby in the number one VW Polo WRC. Stephen King has 17 points, Alan Willoughby only with 10. Whoa! The King has fallen! Alan Willoughby navigates around the wreck, and he makes it past the finish line to take, I think, with probably his first win? Uh, yeah, you're actually right. He couldn't make it to the finish in round two because of Hasbin Noor. Oh, Hasbin. But what happened to Stephen King? Stephen King was having a great run so far in the second event in the DRC. Looks like he landed that jump at an angle. Let's look at it. Yep, he landed on his right two wheels and just toppled over after that. Stephen King only passing two checkpoints. That might be the lucky break that Allen will be needed. That win adds five points to his score, bringing him up to 15. If he can pass the finish line in this next race, I think he'll have enough to move on to the finals. Stephen King already with 19 points. He really just needs to pass one checkpoint to make it into the final four. A lot on the line here for Alan Willoughby. Can he do it? Stephen King out there with a big lead. He lands that jump clean this time. Here they come to the final stretch. Alan Willoughby loses control. Oh no. And that is going to be the end of the line for Alan Willoughby. All he had to do was make it past the finish line and he'll be in the final four. Man, what a tough break. This time it was not the other driver's fault. Alan Willoughby only has himself to blame. Stephen King making a comeback, picks up the win. It looks like he also gets the big air bonus. Let's take one more look. Nice. Yes, he does. It looks like Superman played it a little safe there at the end, which is actually a smart move. He knew he already had enough points to get into the finals, so now is not the time to take any risks. And look at that. Stephen King and Kid Do Not tied at the top of the boards with 25 points. Paul R underneath them, five points down with only 20. Justin Rules coming in third place with 19 points. Wow, so both Matchbox actually made it into the finals. Yes, I did not expect to see that happen. I'm excited to see them race, but I think the big matchup is going to be between Kid Do Not and Superman Stephen King. Has Superman met his match? Is his kryptonite a gold Ford Escort? We'll find out next week in the final round of Event 2 here in the DRC. D -R -C.